Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Just want to say thank you so much for the continued support. As you would have noticed, this channel just hit over 100 subscribers a couple days ago, and it's all thanks to you guys. As subscribers, I just want to let you know, stay tuned in the sub box because I have a lot of new content ideas on the way. I will be revealing a few new series on this channel, starting with this one, What Can You Buy? And you just clicked on the debut episode. And the whole premise of this series is just to go through different brands, which I enjoy purchasing from, set a max price threshold and go from low to high, go through the whole catalog of inventory or at least, you know, the highlights and stuff like that. Give you my opinions on the best things to buy from that certain brand. So I thought this would be a great series idea just because all my friends ask me all the time, what piece of designer should I buy? You know, what should my very first piece I should buy? Stuff along those lines. So if you're wondering the same questions, I'm hoping that you'll enjoy this series. I thought that the very first episode, I would go over my favorite brand, or at least one of my favorite brands, Burberry. So without keeping you waiting any longer, let's dive right into the Burberry site. And I'm gonna take you on a tour of what you can buy for $1,000. Okay, so we're on the Burberry site right now. Just keep in mind, this is the US Burberry store. So when I talk about prices, these are in US dollars. So let's go over the men's section right now and go over what Burberry has to offer. So let's start off with the accessories just because those will be on the more lower end of the spectrum in regards to price. So starting off the key rings, these are probably on the cheaper ends of things. So let's start with there. Okay, so we're in the key rings right now. You know, these are pretty nice. It's just nice, simple Burberry. And this is the new logo right here or the like the rebranding of Burberry, whatever. And you know, it's just clean, simple. It's $180, not too bad from the price. Man, I really love these bear charms here. I've These are for your like backpack or whatever. And you know, I've seen a few people with these. They're just super cute. And you know, just someone special in mind, you know, makes a great gift. Valentine's Day coming up, you know, get your girl a Thomas Bear Charm and quilted jacket. Like, look, it's wearing a jacket. How cute is that? Like, come on. And oh my God, this one's wearing a trench coat. Okay, you, you gotta get this. You know, this is just like a great gift idea right here. All right, so moving next up into price probably is like the wallet and the card cases. So personally, I don't like carrying a wallet too much just because I don't like carrying cash on me. I prefer the card holder when I can, if I'm limiting my cards, just because you know it's slimmer, fits in the pocket more nicely, and it doesn't create like an added bulk, uh, just like a wallet does. And also card holders are cheaper, so there's that too. So let's go into what Burberry has to offer, and I really like this grainy leather card case one. It's just nice, simple, elegant design, and yeah, just a simple black one. It's very low key, and yeah, look at that. It's nice and sleek, damn. So you know, if you do have a couple card holders already, you want a more statement one, I think this one's actually pretty cool too. I love the red, it's just a nice punchy color. And you know, the font on this is looking pretty good too. It stands out and just on the back too, just a nice, you know, just their logo. Let's see what else they have for card holders. Nothing else really jumps out at me. Uh, I do know that they, oh, this blue one's actually pretty nice too. I like this one. Pretty nice leather too. Oh, you know, this is actually just the same one as the red one, eh? Yeah, so this is a nice color. I like that one too, actually. So I'm not sure, just because, you know, Burberry changed their creative director or whatever. And so things did change since last time I actually looked into Burberry. But I remember Burberry did have some card holders that were made out of the, like, the trench uh, material and I felt them in store and they felt really nice and I was like unique Burberry you know because you can get leather card holders from any different brand right but the the trench material is like what signifies like Burberry it's what they're known for so that's really cool I'm not sure if they have these anymore from the looks of this I don't see it but you know maybe if you actually go in store they might still have some older pieces let's go into hats and gloves so I'm a fan of this vintage Czech baseball cap. This checkered pattern right here is just like, it's what Burberry is, man. One of my favorite things that I own is cashmere lined gloves. And I don't own Burberry ones. I just got some ones when I was in Florence and man, they keep my hands so warm. Cashmere is super nice and soft. So I'm assuming that these ones will be nice too. Okay, 
Now the last accessory is scars and this I think is one of the most iconic Burberry pieces you could ever buy besides from like a trench coat. This is the classic Czech cashmere scarf. Now I have the camel Czech color right here as you can see but I've also been thinking of getting like the charcoal one or the navy one or maybe even, eh, not indigo blue, maybe even just a black one, just so that way like it's a darker color to contrast the camel color. I really love the cashmere scarf. It's super nice and soft and cashmere over time, you know, gets even softer. Uh, it does like pile up sometimes. So that's also something to be careful of. So you do have to, you know, take good care of the scarf, but you know, if you take good care of a scarf, the scarf will take good care of you. Okay, what else is in accessories? I don't think anything else stands out in accessories. So now let's go into clothing. Now, typically clothing is a bit more expensive, but you know, we'll start off lower end. So we're gonna go right into like the polos and the t-shirts. This is where, you know, still things are accessible and whatnot. Ooh, I really like this shirt here. It's simple, but the color is what really just adds the pop to it, you know, so when I buy things, like I don't really like things that stand out so much like this one where it's so busy and stuff like that. Just because I like to wear things more than once or at least I like to have versatile pieces. So, you know, something like this will be even more versatile than this, especially when you're paying like, you know, $300 for a shirt. You wanna get multiple use out of the wear. Did that make sense? You wanna get multiple. Ooh, man, I really love this shirt. It's embroidered too, and this is cheaper for $240. Man, this, this I think is a great cop right here because embroidery is like a great nice detail because no matter how much you pay for a shirt, if a shirt's screen printed, it will fade over time, but embroidery will last longer, it's better quality, and usually embroidery does cost more to make, so I'm sure, not sure why this is Unless this one's embroidered too. Let's go back here for a second. No, it just says print. So yeah, I think this shirt right here, this embroidered archive logo cotton t-shirt is the best value you can buy for the t-shirts anyway. $240 too, not too bad if you ask me. Polos, and eh, you know, I'm just gonna stick to Ralph Lauren polos, so yeah. Okay, so let's go down onto the trousers and the shorts. Man, I really love plaid pants or like checkered pants. And these just look phenomenal. Look at the color on that, man. Just pair these with some loafers or something, you know, just a nice blazer on that. Man, you got a fire fit. Oh my God. Okay, I do have to say $700 is a bit steep for pants, but Burberry does have a few sales here and there. There's usually a sale like in the summertime, winter time, and pants are always like 50% off. So, you know, obviously maybe don't buy them at the $700 price, but you know, definitely if they're on sale, these are definitely a good cop here. All right, let's go into the hoodies and sweatshirts. Ooh, the embroidered logo jersey hoodie. I am a fan. Like, as I mentioned before, embroidery is such a nice touch on things and yeah, just as nice, simple design too. So that way you can get multiple. I didn't figure out how to say it right. You you can use it multiple times. That's the thing, especially when you're paying like $500 for a piece, you know, you want something that you can wear multiple times. You don't want to have to worry about, oh, I can only wear this certain time just because it stands out so much that people are going to notice. Or maybe that's just my thing. But like, you know, if I'm wearing something like, I don't know, something like this or something like that, I do like this, you know, don't get me wrong, but it is just like, if I'm wearing this, it's $520. This is like 480, obviously it's a bit cheaper, but you know, I think I'm gonna get better value for this than this, just because I can only wear this a certain amount of times before someone's gonna call me out saying, you know, why are you wearing the same sweater over and over and over? Because with loud things, obviously people take more notice of that. And obviously sometimes you do want the attention, but you know, other times, you know, when you're trying to build up a wardrobe and stuff like that, you do want more basic essential pieces. Also this one in black too, very nice. So yeah, just these embroidered logo jersey hoodies, I think are a play. I think they're great uh, for the price point, $480, you know, not too bad. Okay, let's go up to blazers. Honestly, I'm not sure if these are gonna be under $1,000. Yeah, nothing looks to be under $1,000, but you know, as I mentioned before, the sales, 
I got a Burberry blazer for like 550 bucks and it's super nice. It was like 50% off, so over a thousand dollars. And it's just like a light gray herringbone blazer. If I have some pictures of me wearing it, I'm gonna post them up here so you can see. But yeah, super nice. And the thing I like about Burberry is off the rack, their clothes fit amazing. I haven't got it actually tailored yet. And you can see that it does fit me nice like in the shoulders and it's pretty slim fitting. So it hugs me um, along the chest and like all the way on my torso. So yeah, it's, it's an amazing piece. All right, let's go into the quilt and the puffers. Okay, so obviously I have to talk about this jacket right here, the diamond quilted jacket. I'm a big fan of this. I got this one in Vegas and it's super nice. I love it because it's casual enough that you can just wear it every day too. But you know, you can still wear it to work because it's low key, like zero branding. Like you only see the Burberry thing on the zip like right there. You know, for $800, obviously it's a bit pricey, but I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of this jacket. So I don't mind paying that amount of money for it. From the looks of things, everything else is gonna be over a thousand dollars. And the shoes, I haven't touched on the shoes, but I don't recommend buying shoes from Burberry. I'm not really a big fan of shoes from Burberry. There are other brands that I like for shoes and I'm gonna be going over that in subsequent episodes. So stay tuned in this series and you'll see my opinions on those. I actually wanna recommend one last thing. Obviously this is gonna be over a thousand dollars, but this is what Burberry is, or at least what I think Burberry is. These are the trench coats. Now, obviously these are like $2,000 and stuff like that. So this is like just a bonus, like, you know, just take it as it is. But I tried this on in London and instantly when I put it on, it just fit my body super nice. And obviously for me, I'm really slim, right? So finding things that like hug me right away without tailoring any of that is like really rare. And when I find pieces like that, I instantly fall in love. But yeah, they just like a super nice fit and it's amazing. Burberry in itself is known for their trench coats. I think dated back to the world wars, correct me if I'm wrong. It's an iconic piece in your wardrobe. It's an essential piece that you can have and obviously it won't go out of style because it's such a classic. Thanks so much for making it to the end of this video. I'm very curious to hear what you think about this new series. So, you know, leave a comment down below as well as give me some suggestions on which other brands you want me to go in depth for. Give my suggestions on what you should buy. So if you've enjoyed the video, smash the like button, subscribe if you aren't already. And like always, have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. I'm